Hello everyone, I am Samuel and I play the saxophone. In this musical soundbite, I will be showcasing the saxophone through the music of our local composers. The saxophone was invented by Adolf Sax and it was made to be a hybrid instrument that had the best characteristics of both a woodwind and brass instrument. Its ability to play technical passages easily like woodwind instruments, yet project loudly as brass instruments, made it popular at that time. The saxophone had great initial success. Many bands and orchestras loved the sound of the saxophone, and even Hector Berlioz, acclaimed musicologist and composer, said composers will be very indebted to Mr. Sax when his instruments are generally employed. If he perseveres, he will meet with the support of all friends of music. The saxophone, in my opinion, has a very lovely warm sound that has quite a singing quality to it. In this excerpt of All the Things Left Unspoken by Ng Yu Heng, he creatively uses a silent grand piano with a sustained pedal to show the beauty of the saxophone's sound by letting it resonate with the open strings of the piano. This work captures the baffling sense of love and loss faced when a loved one has terminal illness, the joy at the transient but invaluable time we can be together with them, and the grief at the impending fading of life. As the wonderful poet Frederick Bigner said, here is the world, beautiful and terrible things will happen, don't be afraid. Here is an excerpt from the piece. In addition to the alto saxophone, I have four other saxophones to show you today. The first is a sopranino saxophone. It's small, it's shrill, and to my knowledge, no Singaporean composer has used it yet. This is what it sounds like. The second saxophone I have to show you today is the soprano saxophone. It is a little bit bigger than the Sopranino saxophone, and this is what it sounds like. When used in an orchestra, composers like Ravel have used the saxophone in pieces like Bolero, and this is what we play in the orchestra. Now back to the alto saxophone, this is what it sounds like. When used in an orchestral setting, a very famous excerpt is the Old Castle from a Pictures at an Exhibition, which was composed by Mozowski and orchestrated by Ravel. And this is what it sounds like. This next saxophone is a tenor saxophone which I usually use in quartet setting. This is what it sounds like.
A commonly used excerpt for the tenor saxophone is also Bolero by Maurice Ravel, and this is what it sounds like on the tenor saxophone. Here I have with me a baritone saxophone, which is the biggest saxophone that's commonly used in a saxophone quartet. There are two other bigger instruments, which are the tubags and a bass saxophone, which I've used overseas. This is what a baritone saxophone sounds like. <laughs> An orchestral excerpt that I really like, that uses the baritone saxophone, is from An American in Paris by Gershwin, and this is what it sounds like. It's a two-bar solo, but it's short and sweet. We will hear what the different saxophones sound like when played together in this performance of The Serpent by Alexander Un. I am very happy to have Kuhn, Ita, and Christina join me in this performance. The Serpent is one of the few constellations in the Northern Hemisphere to be split into two disconnected regions in the sky, mainly its head, Serpent's Kaput, and its tail, Serpent's Kauda. The idea of this work is derived from the unique characteristics of this constellation. The different lyrical motifs are used to signify the contrasting strokes seen connecting the multiple stars in this constellation, while some extended techniques, like the slap tongue, represent the different points of the constellation. Experimental textures with polyrhythm and polytonality aim to create the atmosphere one could expect when associating a piece of music to a serpent. Now, you might be wondering what a slap tongue is. In addition to the beautiful sounds you've heard, the saxophone can also make rather interesting sounds that may seem a little grotesque at first. These include slap tongue, Multiphonics, air sounds, and sometimes composers even have us stomp our feet. You can hear all these grotesque sounds in this piece, Don't Give Up, Please Put a Spoon in My Mouth by Derek O. In the Don't Give Up series about the human conditions by Derek O, Please Put a Spoon in My Mouth is inspired by the condition epilepsy. Many whom suffer from this condition have the constant risk of injury in the mouth due to biting of the tongue during a seizure episode, leading to heavy blood loss that could result in death. During Derek's national service, a fellow squad mate of his had this chronic condition and told him that putting a spoon in his mouth could potentially save him. If not, anything soft like a cloth would work too. 
For anyone or anyone's friend that has this condition, do not give up. I thought it would be interesting to end this week's episode showing these different techniques in a saxophone quartet setting. Points, Lines, Angles, Planes by Tan Yu Ting is a great example of this. It depicts the basic elements of geometry using contrasting musical textures. These elements are the building blocks of geometrical structures upon which architectural designs are based on. Similarly, smaller musical units in this piece combined to form larger structures, which become the foundation of the musical textures. This piece utilizes the saxophone in many ways, showing how it sounds like when played soft or when played loud, and with all kinds of techniques and sounds that the saxophone can make. <laughs> Thank you very much for tuning in for this episode. I hope you've learned more about the saxophone family and its abilities. In the next episode, I'll be introducing two new transcriptions of works by two local composers, Professor Ho Chi Kong and Jonathan Shin for the next episode. See you next time. <laughs>